first up, we're going to be talking about the uh, the Parrot and Naffy AI. Um, did you did you see this launch, Andrew? Did you did you watch live? I know you've been pretty busy with with some fairly hectic stuff going on at Drone Masterclass HQ. I mean, if they had something I was interested in, maybe, but no, not for this one. You, you're not interested. You don't like it. Oh, it's, it's it's you know, I'm sure it'll have a purpose for someone. That that's interesting, of course, because you have a lot of corporate functions professional functions um yeah. you, you know you, the flying of your drone apart from perhaps with the fpv drone is, is mainly towards the the work side e even, of even if a manufacturer side. produces a single good drone yeah it's the ecosystem as well for us which will want us to of course you know, we want to we, we don't want to switch to new manufacturers because we don't really use parrot at the moment yes. we ha i think we have one but uh we've never used it um but this to me, I mean, this is just the world's worst Star Wars toy. <laughs> I'm sorry, it just looks like a. I mean, look at that. Even the color scheme is like something from, you know, yeah, I um, mean, a Star Wars plot. I mean, I, I, obviously, they saw how good the DJI FPV of the of the of the <laughs> volcano went. So, oh, we have to go there too. Yeah, we have to go to Iceland. Um, the, and, yeah, and we will melt the drone. Um, <laughs> but like, I just, I just find this. This just looks like a Star Wars toy that's just not officially licensed. Yeah, I mean, um, I, I imagine I, I, they I probably tried mean. to license it and they couldn't because it's not that great looking. <laughs> Very good. Uh, I, I know exactly what you mean, but I mean, I, I, I'm I'm fairly interested in this from the point of view that it's going to be light. It's going to be less than 900 grams, yeah. um, and of course, it, it it has this open source um, 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 uh, software on there, etc. And and I, I think perhaps because I'm coming from the commercial drone side of things, literally at, almost at the opposite end to yourself. So something like this drone could have probably move my services forward quite a bit. Um, I mean, it's it's obviously you know, akin to uh, you know, like Sky Deal and stuff in terms of autonomy yes, and things yes. like that. The, the modeling thing, I mean, when I'm watching these modeling shots here, there's lots, you know, that model can be produced by lots of drones. So it's just the fact that they've created nice models, more saying it's something about the model processing than it is actually about the flying and capturing absolutely, of that. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, Yes, autonomous will come in, but you know, also as well from from a C marking point of view, that's not out yet. So you know, I'm just not that interested in something that's small, really, unless I really need it. Until Indeed. then, yeah. Um, the, the the controller here is something that I've paused it on this just because I I. I, I... I, I was a little bit disappointed to see it because I don't feel that that's particularly natural. That's a pretty, particularly natural position to have your hands in. Um, and and just just a couple of bit of, uh, bits of feedback from the chat. Uh, yes, um, Elsmaker did did put a very good um, uh, meme together showing Sid from um, Ice Age uh, next to the drone, and they did look startlingly similar. And a few people have picked that up in the chat today as well. Um, and John French says a really bad Tie Fighter from Star Wars. Um, and <laughs> it, it looks like Anakin was designing a racer, uh, yeah. whatever you call those. I don't know the official name for them. And just pod rejected races. the idea. Yeah, pod racer. Yeah. It looks like the, like the idea that he had early on and rejected. Yeah. Well, um, I mean, it's just the fact that it's the white contrasting with the golden, almost. Yes, I yes. want to say green. But it, but it's th th there is something I like about it from the fact that it's that it's formed out of um, function. Now, interestingly, the the two cameras each side of 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 of, of the main camera in the middle, they're actually the I think they even called it three sixty obstacle avoidance although i'm not sure how it could be completely 360 but they spin around basically so, so that acts automatically as the avoidance system it would be interesting to see mm. how it knows when it's looking forward to avoid something how it also knows to look behind and that type of thing etc which is which is interesting you can see do you see the cameras flip around there yeah. sort of that sounds was... like a moving part that's unnecessary and we'll break. yeah yeah well and, and and also a few of the feedback to my um, um initial video that i put up yesterday on this was very much of you know any kind of contact with anything this thing is going to have problems and you know break etc why were the cameras looking behind are the cameras in the front ports as well is what i'm thinking oh it's like jar jar banks isn't it with the stocks oh don't we we had some very interesting marketing photos um yeah I mean, I, i'd want to clean my drone if it had been there so so yeah so we had we had this obviously the idea is that it, it, it it's supposed to be um, um influenced by nature um so <laughs> which one do you think's the drone yeah could anybody <laughs> could anybody please spot and tell me which one of these pictures is actually the drone um and then of course we have it's it that color scheme is just it's just it's it's you know it's the star wars color scheme it just yeah if, if they just made it gray or you know, or blue or whatever but it's the fact that they've used all those different colors yeah I, I know what you mean but again i'm excited from the function point of view and um if, yeah. if, if it does half of what well not half it needs to do 95 percent of what it does frankly um, um I, I don't like the controller because i don't think it's gonna fit my um <laughs> 
The chat is very funny tonight. Sorry. I I just saw that. Um, I I don't think it's going to fit my ruggedized iPhone case. And it's it's those sort of ones I don't really like. I'm even struggling with the Mini 2 controller. So I don't really... I, I, my, what, what, I don't want to take my iPhone out. My my first parrot, which was my first ever drone, the Bebop, came with the very large. Do you remember the? Have you ever seen the first Sky controller? That's literally about this wide, this tall. Oh, yeah. Um, and you know, I, I got used to flying like that. But then, of course, when I came down to the to the more recent uh, parrot controller, and of course the DJI controllers, as a gamer, as someone that's used to playing on 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 the sort of Xbox size controllers, it it felt much more um, uh, natural to me. I, 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 I am just, concerned about that controller, I have to say, and it is a little bit off-putting. Um, but hopefully, you know, again, it, it does use Pix 4D, etc., that type of thing. So I'm hoping also. Um, also, that antenna, uh, the patch antenna there. Um, you know, how directional is that? Yes. Does it, does it flex? Does it move? Yes, I have no, no. idea. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, it, the, these are issues. And are those props quick release? Um, no, because the original photograph showing them on there you can actually see the um you can see the screws um the, the, yeah. the original photograph showed them as being screwed on so let's have a look let's have a quick look at the specs and the uh, the bump that, that was put out by by parrot this is another area that i was quite interested in because they're talking about it being 4g internet connectivity connected without range limit that's an interesting I mean, thing to say for, for, first of all connected by 4g when we're on the cusp or, or 5g is already out and people like vodafone are already doing 5g connected drones although it I seems see, a bit would you would you not would you not could you not argue just playing devil's advocate that 4g therefore is more reliable because 5g is still a little bit too cutting edge well if, well, 5g is out if you're in a 5g area it's reliable if you're within the, yeah but the I've, I've been testing a 5g well, device for a manufacturer for the last couple of months as you know and i've i've yeah i've had issues it, and it is it is literally absolutely incredible or nothing it is, yeah, is, that, is that, that's not that's not their fault that's oh the no i know fault. that i know that yeah, but obviously yeah. but, but obviously you I can't just think release you know, a drone that's going to be why you know, why wouldn't you do 4g and 5g connectivity yeah no, it just, I it just see seems that. lack of future proofing unless they're going to bring out a c mark one with 5g fair enough yeah who knows but, exactly um, a 48 megapixel camera 4k 60 frames a second smooth video great hdr 10 with realistic colors is cool um the 14 ev done it with dynamic range six times zoom one centimeter details at 75 meters 240 feet which again from a survey point of view is 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 pretty good frankly i think it, it shoots 48 megapixel at one frame a second uh, survey grade accuracy of 0.46 centimeters um, yeah, good. Embedded Pix 4D. But at, aren't yeah, Pix 4D at 30 meters is not, but at 30 meters could be very problematic depending on how you're going to use it. If you're yeah. in a 50 meter bubble, 30 meters isn't going to really help with that. From my perspective, if I'm, we're a drone deploy user more so at the moment. Yes. So if that locks out from using drone deploy, that's another tick in the box of not buying it. Yeah, I don't know if it locks it out, but I know that it's certainly, I, th I think that's more where the open source side of things comes into it. Cybersecurity by design, no data shared by default. Stronger authentication for 4G, okay. No, the, so the key thing here is they're trying to say is we're better than DJI at um, yeah. um, protecting... I do, uh, I do still data. remember the Anafi USA uh, video um, where, where where they actually talked about DJI for, for a, a good 25 minutes during that launch. And I, I was a little bit sort of cringy from the point of view that... Yeah, we, selling your strengths, not yeah, people's weaknesses. Yeah, people will pick up on that. And you can say quickly, oh, and of course, the issues that other manufacturers have had, we don't have that because of X, Y, Z, but they really went for it and sort of detailed it and showed independent reports. And that, that, that sort of annoyed me slightly, I have to say. But... Um, um, so yeah, so with the pack content, you get a naffy drone, you get a hard case, a Sky Controller 4 remote, uh, a, a smart battery, a, a USB PD power delivery, fast charger, uh, USB-C lightning cables, as you would expect, a calibration chart, which is interesting, uh, and an additional set of... Do you think that's going to be like the Inspire 2 one? the board yeah I, I think it, i think it must be to be honest which is an interesting way to go i have to say how do you calibrate that was it's an interesting in terms of the cameras that flip backwards for obstacle avoidance yes how do you calibrate those is it in both positions or just once and then they flip it, it must be in it i i would well i don't know but it must be within at least two positions so technical specifications we are hoping or we're not hoping we're told by parrot that this is a sub 900 gram drone um and just. and as therefore 
um, it was mentioned in the in the launch video that it was therefore hopefully compliant with EASA um, and uh, worldwide regulations from the point of view of being able to get C ratings and that type of thing, um, which is interesting before the C ratings are actually out. But um, but yeah, I mean, if it is, that's very exciting, I have to say. Um, if this if this was to be C rated though, I think it would probably be C two. I'm not sure that I'm not sure we'd get the eighty joules, uh, but it is under nine. Well, the lack of the lack of or, switch, isn't it, actually. Yeah, I mean, again, I would just caveat for the retrospective stuff. There's I didn't see I don't I didn't see a speed switch on the controller. It didn't look too hard. The cybersecurity thing. Mm. One thing that would actually help them from a from a law enforcement point of view is getting UK Cyber Essentials certified for the drone yes. to say it's secure. Yes. That would actually really help for buying and selling into the government of the UK, and there's there's European standards in that as well. We don't have a released price yet. It's, it's that it's at that stage of contact us type thing. Uh, we're hoping to have the contact price details. Us. Yeah, that old gimmick for drone companies. Yeah, well, right. If you want to come and can't talk to us. Talk, yeah, come talk to us because we we can't get the chips to build them anyway. I'm thinking it's got to be around Skydio money from the point of view of being competitive with that kind well, of product. I, I just think some of those flaws that I talked about, like the 4G and stuff, and the, and the, their attempt at AI. I think maybe this is a stepping stone. Maybe this is more of a market uh, research exercise than it is actually a drone launch, mm. just to sort of go down because. I mean, the, the the industrial use is where the money is going to be. Yep. And that's what's well, the Skydio. So the Skydio is, 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 is arguably the biggest marketing campaign ever for their for the Skydio. Yeah, but I, AI, I just think this so. is a this is a generation of new tech. Yeah. They're testing out with the consumer market more so. Absolutely. Um, and I just think you know, it, it just feels uh, to me gimmicky. It Title. doesn't feel like this is a. It doesn't feel like this is a. Um, is a finished product in that sense. I, I know what you mean. I'm still, I'm, I'm, I'm not still going to definitely get one. It, it just, it just if, feels if like if this it's within a, a certain range. I'm will it work with, with sensors to flip over? Will that save money and wait? I don't yeah, know. That's yeah, like, that's right. We'll see if they like it. That that kind of thing really does sort of interest me in, in terms of it is it is sort of a, supposed to be a 360 type of obstacle avoidance, but obviously those cameras can only yeah. be looking at one thing. Well, not one thing. They can only be looking at one plane at a time. Um, so that that's going to be really interesting to see how that works. And I, I look forward to some of the uh, technical um, uh, side of things as well. So it'd be, it'd be very interesting because I'm I'm still a fan of the of the Anafi consumer consumer drone, and that, that was like a little sports car in the skies. Frankly, it was a it was a very adaptable little drone. Uh, just the, the the transmission let me down a few times, which is why I then switched to the to the Mini Two personally. But you know, it, it, I'm I'm excited for it. <laughs>